Hello and welcome to this and this video tutorial on Totem's Signal EM Violation Debug. This is the tickle script enlisting all the steps within the Totem run. I have already run Totem and saved the database. Hence we'll go ahead and just load it. In order to load the database go to Files, Import Database. Here the name of the database is memory.db. Totem GUI is up. Database has been loaded. To check the EM violations Click on the Results tab, List of Worst EM. This dumps out list of all the signal nets violating the EM current limit. Selecting a net pulls up a table which shows all the segments of that net violating the EM limit. Current in general can be unidirectional or bidirectional. Unidirectional nets are further classified as pull up or pull down. On highlighting a particular segment, a marker is inserted at the location to help us spot it in the GUI. You can also view the EM violations by clicking on this EM button. Color palette button will pull up the legend for this map. Red color is used to signify that current flowing through the segment is more than the EM permissible limit. Let's debug why and how is this net violating the EM rule. On selecting, all the properties of the net pop up in the lock section. The top section has the general properties of the net. It also tells us the amount of current flowing through the net. The bottom section is the EM specific section. It tells us what EM mode are we looking at, average RMS or peak, how is the EM limit calculated, was the EM temperature derating factor and finally the EM percentage and EM current limit. For this segment the EM limit is 0.8 microamps but the current flowing through it is 2.4 microamps resulting in an EM percentage of 279. Let's try to figure out why such high current is flowing through these segments. For better debugging let's focus only on this net. To do that, hover the mouse pointer over the net, click the middle mouse button, hover onto display nets and select exclude unselected nets. The keyboard shortcut for doing this is Control N. To get a better idea why these segments are violating the EM limit, let's see which transistor pins are connected to these segments. Click on results, list of signal nets transistor pin current, this table shows all the signal nets, all the transistor pins connected to those nets, the corresponding average RMS and peak current values. The high current carrying drain pins are causing EM violations on the corresponding segments. Further, you can also plot the waveform using the plot waveform button. This is the current waveform of the train terminal of this FET. This button will pull out a statistics window which will give you the average RMS peak values over the selected duration. The high current drawn by this transistor is the cause of EM violation on this net. Thus we saw how to use Totem GUI to debug a signal EM violation. Thank you for listening to this tutorial and have a nice day.